Greetings, Mao Bidet fans. You've caught me here hanging out in the dark because I just love the light blue night light and LED side panel of our A7 Aura. But don't be too creeped out. You stay tuned because I'm going to tell you all about it. Greetings, Bob Bidet fans. This is Alan, your media and marketing executive. Today's Tell Me About is a very special one because it's on a unit that I own personally. It's our A7 Aura, our electric warm water bidet with side panel. So this is our A7 Aura right here. As you can see, it is a full attachable bidet with seat and lid, side panel, LED night light, warm water, heated seat, and stainless steel nozzle. So here's your A7 all installed. And again, it's got that nice LED side panel here. Comes with a stainless steel nozzle, LED side panel, light blue night light, heated seat, and as always, the slow close seat and lid. And here is a shot of what it looks like in the dark. Here's a shot of the light blue LED night light on the inside of the bowl of the A7. What I'm doing right here is showing the button, the on off button for the LED night light. I'm putting my hand on the occupancy sensor to show the innovative side panel registers whether or not somebody's sitting on the unit. Here is your stop button, as well as your posterior and feminine buttons for your basic wash. This unit's very nice because it has one and two user presets, which you can save, as well as a silent mode, and that's your nightlight button. Your buttons for the nozzle position and nozzle pressure, seat temperature, water temperature, and economy mode. The A7 Aura is going to come with a catch plate right here. This gets mounted to your toilet base first, and then you're going to click the A7 Aura directly onto this. The catch plate is going to secure to the toilet base with a pair of plastic bolts and lock nut washers on the underside. And of course, we're not going to forget about the cone-shaped washers that go on the underside of the plastic bolts to secure the catch plate to the toilet base. So this is your catch plate. Notice that the nub is on one of the long sides here. This needs to be facing the toilet tank. That is the back of the catch plate. You will not be able to install it if it's the opposite direction. Here is your bolts and your cone-shaped washer. Slide the bolts down through the catch plate into the toilet base and the cone-shaped washer facing upwards. Here is your lock nut. Place those onto the bolt and secure it down. Repeat this process for the other side. Leave just a little bit of slack in those nuts so that you can slide the catch plate back and forth. I would like to mention one thing about the installation on the A7 and that it does not slide forward onto its catch plate. You instead have to press a catch plate button on the right hand side of the bidet itself. Press and hold that in as you drop that down onto the catch plate then release that button and the lock will lock the bidet into place. Obviously in order to remove the bidet from the catch plate you need to press and hold that button on the right hand side and lift upwards. The A7 Aura is going to come with a half inch T adapter. This is going to be installed directly by your water shutoff valve. If you don't have a half inch pipe thread it's going to come with a 3 8 compression thread adapter. Make sure that on both of these you are using the washers on the inside. The T adapter has a black rubber washer on the inside and your 3 8 compression nut, if you need to use it, is going to come with a white plastic washer. The A7 Aura is also going to come with two supply lines. One that has a 7 8 end, this is going to secure directly onto the bottom of your toilet's fill valve, and the other is a half inch to half inch supply line. This goes from the T adapter directly to the bidet itself. As part of the installation kit, the A7 Aura is going to come with a couple of these weird little number three shaped plastic clips. These are solely an aesthetic, and are used to simply clip the water supply lines together to make it a little nicer and neater looking. This is a close-up of the inlet on the A7. You need to secure the water supply line directly to that. If it's a little bit leaky, be sure to get some thread tape on that. The plastic clips that come included are designed to clip the power cable to the water supply line. It's just a nice aesthetic designed to make the cables look a little bit nicer and neater. 
The power cord for the A7 comes out of the rear center of the unit, and there's a small wire channel along the back, allowing you to clip the power cable into place to the left or right hand side, depending on where your outlet's located in the bathroom. Now the A7 Aura is a powered unit, so one of the very first questions we get from customers is, how am I going to get power to the unit? Well, the power cord is only four feet long, so if you happen to have an outlet right there by your toilet, well, you're already set. However, the very next question is, can I use an extension cord to hook it up? Yes, you can. The A7 Aura is very similar to our other electric units in it that it has an occupancy sensor built into the seat. The occupancy sensor is located at about the 7 o'clock position. What this does for you is that means the bidet will not start spraying unless somebody is sitting on the unit. So if you're standing above the bidet trying to press the buttons on the side panel and wondering why nothing's working, it's because somebody needs to be physically sitting on the bidet itself. If you're having any trouble with some of the electronic features of the bidet, the best thing you can do to troubleshoot those is to simply unplug the bidet for about 30 to 60 seconds, allow the unit to reset, plug it back in, and try it again. Should the seat or lid of your A7 get cracked at any point, you can always order an additional ones on our website, biobidet.com, or just give us a call and order over the phone. One additional thing that I like about this unit is that it has two saved user presets. Now I want to keep this YouTube video a little bit short, so I'm not going to go into the details of that. So you are going to have to reference the A7 user manual on how to utilize those properly. Well, that about wraps it up for this. Tell me about on my personal favorite bidet model, our A7 Aura. If you have any questions or concerns, please give us a call, hit us up on live chat, or find me on social media. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you for the next Tell Me About. Thanks again. Bye-bye.